guys my name is Jen for those of you who are joining me for the first time I am an abstract fluid artist I do resin and mixed media and all kinds of other stuff today we're gonna pour on some glass ocean theme on the brain even though it's November so hope everybody has a good safe holiday I came up with a contraption called the tea swipe and it's basically a straw that swipes because <laughs> to swipe with like a spatula or I mean forget it but this works so let's see what we can do let's just get started okay I'm using Glidden premium untinted base 3 semi gloss I'll post a picture right now so I'm gonna do the blue part first First, I think so I'm gonna start kind of up here just with a pillow like that I don't want too much because you can always add more but you really can't take away you can go like that and that'll buy you some time not forever but I think I'm gonna start off with a strip of black like this This is like a dark turquoise. Right? A little more untinted base. I'll add a little more black. I think I want to swipe towards me, so I'm going to turn it around. I did make this little contraption to hold my T swipe. Here we go. I'm going to move my popsicle sticks. Always have a paper towel ready because you have to wipe. All right, so see how that is all cell active and whatnot? I do have a smaller one. A strip of blue in the center because it's supposed to get darker the further on you look like that okay flip this guy back around for a second I'm gonna pour a little bit of this guy well first let's stretch a little bit okay so when you're going to stretch you can see that the blue is getting ready to buckle under the base so I go back the other way stretch it out and then hold my side to get it up to the corner when using certain types of glass just please be very careful because not every piece has been you know buffed around the edges it can and will cut you it has done it to me before. It's it's horrible, so just be careful. Grab my swiper.
Okay, so we have a little issue. We're going to swipe again. There is my straw. There you are. All right, so I do not like that blue stripe. It's got to go. I like that. I will tell you guys, glass is hard. We want to make a wave. Like that. Whoa, that looks like a wave to me. Cool. I don't like this though. I don't like the color. So we're going to come in with our Silva. Like that. Okay, so you might see in just a second how my paint is moving like really slow. I did that on purpose because I want you to be able to either you know, put it on a stand close to a window or a light behind it and it's going to reflect through the pigments. That's one thing I love about Craft Neat because you can make them as opaque or as translucent as you want. And you know, that that's basically the point. I want the ocean to look like it's glowing, like the sun's hitting off of it. So lots of you know, tilting and manipulating, you always go back to the way you came in reverse. So if you go to the upper left and you go straight up and to the left, when you come back, you go straight to the right and down, you know, back the way you came. Now we're getting somewhere. All right. Okay. I think I'm going to stop. I don't know. Yeah, I think I'm going to stop. Walk away. Walk away. Tomorrow's another day. Plus, this is glass. You know, you soak it in water. 
without sealing it, it's going to come right off just like tiles. <sighs> Let's get you down for a close up. What do you say? Boy, that is wild. I love when they glow like that. Do you see that? That's going to shine right through the glass. Let me get away. That's what we wanted with cells. Oh my gosh. Yeah. That's crazy. Lights off. Isn't that insane? A lot of people have asked how I make my T-swipe. So, you know, yeah, these guys have seen better days. Although, I gotta tell you, I've done 20-some paintings with them, different sizes and everything. It's just a straw and a popsicle stick. Okay, so I'm gonna make a big one. I just make a little slit, just enough to poke through. Just kind of rock back and forth and eventually you get in there. All right, good. I don't have long enough popsicle sticks or something like this, so I kind of improvised. I had some balsa wood and I cut it in pieces, and then I, <laughs> I took a popsicle stick like this and I cut it up the side and made these guys. The balsa wood's really flimsy. I feel like I'm going to break it. This is improvising, you guys. I'm going to make a better one, but for right now, for what I want and need, I need it. <laughs> Going to be a big one, man. Yeah, let me find my electrical tape. All right, so I always have tons of electrical tape lying around the house. It's kind of like my big fat Greek wedding. Put a little Windex on it. Windex fixes everything. It's kind of how I feel about electrical tape. <laughs> I had uh, <laughs> I had Pastorella when I was little, right? I got a, a beautiful white cat she was pregnant i was like oh my gosh we're gonna have babies i was like 18 or something so i took it home walked in the door my shepherd wasn't in her kennel and the cat freaked and scratched the hell out of my chest so i didn't think anything of it i was just like i was hurt you know she really scratched me bad and uh i just kept them separate and just kept you know going about my business of wanting kittens about two weeks later, I'm shivering on my couch at my dad's house, visiting him. I have no idea what's wrong with me. Um, and this was like October, you know. And I don't know if you remember right after 9-11 how they had the anthrax scare and all the other stuff. Anyway, I was up. my fever was up to 103. My parents were like, that's it. You're going to the hospital. So they take me to the hospital, and I collapsed in the parking lot and went into septic shock. Woke up so sick. I mean, the sickest I think I have ever been in my whole life. I Just to smell or take a deep breath was making me, you know, I won't go into details. But fever was up to 104. Uh, I don't remember a lot of it after that because they sedated me. But I spent a month in the hospital. Came home with a pick line in my arm because I was tired of being there. And I'm sure my insurance company didn't want to pay to keep me there anyway. The pick line was in the crease of my elbow, right, well, I don't know if you can see it anymore, but it was right there. And I kept bending my arm and everything. Anyway, the pick line got a hole in it. So what does this girl do? I electrical taped it. My visiting nurse came out and she just about had a heart attack. She was like, you can't do that. Oh my gosh, what are you doing? You're gonna die, blah, 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 blah. 
So yeah, pick line came out, and then that's when the suffering really started because they didn't put it back. They just did IVs. But the moral of the story is I got cat scratch fever and from the cat, and then when the pick line got the hole in it, I used electrical tape to fix it. So yeah, kind of <laughs> my introvert uh, mentality started at a very young age even though it was wrong but yeah you just look at something and you're like how am I gonna make this work and and you just keep asking yourself and look around your room and and once you figure it out that's it right now since I've been running my mouth I have to find out where my slit is which is right there which is cool okay so I need to cut this off a little bit but the straw itself is that thick and I want it in all the way, so we're gonna cut it. Ugh, I don't know. We do have a second try over here, so we'll see. Let's test it out first. I just rock it in. Actually, that's kind of perfect, don't you think? Cool. Look at that T-swipe, y'all. Like, yeah, yo. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I'm going to pull it out. I want to be able to hold this right here for a second. Go and move. Okay. Okay. I want to go around both sides, I think. Because I don't want to melt the straw. You know what I'm saying? All right. So here we go, dudes. Little boom. Like that. Actually, I don't think it's really going in there, so let's try to shove it in there. Get in there. Alright, cool, I see it. Once this dries, I will put a little glue around the outside, around here, just to secure it, and which will melt to the straw. Because I was worried about that, you know, like resin pops off of just about anything shiny. The hot glue melts the straw, so it kind of binds, which was kind of like a happy little accident. But yeah, any size, any length, you know, these were just, I got these popsicle sticks at Walmart and um, I should have taken way better care of them, but I get so tired of, or I'm in pain after I'm done swiping or making a piece, but you can still see the glue is still on there. And then the paint, I left it on purposely just so you guys could see. It just, it pulls right off. And if you really don't want to mess with it, get um, some duct tape or something and just wrap it around there and rip it right off and the paint comes right off unless you want to scratch it with your fingernails and then you can get it going sometimes and just peel right around it this guy's cracked so I don't know what I'm gonna do that about that probably just chuck it and make another one I haven't figured out a way to come out come up come out come up with closing the ends off but I would like to do that like crimping them or something like that would throw off the levelness of the straw so yeah, but there is the tea swipe. Thanks for watching, and I'm getting ready to use this bad boy. See you next time. Bye.